people. Do you know it's taken me about 10 goes to get it anywhere near right, so that wasn't perfect, but um, <laughs> I've given up trying that. Anyway, so I'm going to teach you how to play Green Day, Good Riddance, Time of Your Life. Right, I'll show you a bit of strumming so and how to pick it as well. So if you had a bit of trouble strumming it, I mean, I mean getting hang of the picking, then you could just strum it for a while, okay? So what we'll do is we'll go into the picking first and then we'll do the strumming after. Right then. So for your verse, you're gonna start off with a G chord. Right, I'm gonna try and show you. Basically, it's an open G chord. But the main thing is that he, the two bottom fingers here are both on the bottom two strings, okay? So a lot of people just use one finger on the bottom string, okay, third fret, but use the two fingers, okay, on the third fret of the two bottom strings, and then you just use your fingers at the top, top two strings, okay? Sorry, the light, I've put the, closed the curtains a bit, but the light's just shining through. So you start with a G chord, okay? And then you're going to go to a C add 9. So basically, these two top fingers are moving down one string, okay? That's your C add 9. And then after that, you're going to go to a D sus 4. Take those top fingers off. And then this second finger here is going to go to the fourth string down. So count four strings down, third fret, no, sorry, second fret. Put that in there. And that's your D sus four, okay? So those are your three chords for this first part of the verse. Alright? Your picking pattern, it's the same throughout. The only difference is that your first the first string you pick each time will be your root root um note, okay? So when you pick when you're on the G chord and you're picking, your first string will be the top string, okay? When you get to your C add nine the first string you pick will be your second string down. And when you're in the D sus4, the first string, string you pick will be the third string down, okay? Which is your D string, okay? Apart from that, the strumming pattern is basically, let's get this up here. So, this is your strumming pattern. I'm on the G chord now, so it's top string, and then so your top string, and then your fourth string down, and then your fifth string down. Okay, I had to work that out myself. So your top string, your fourth string down, your fifth string down, back to your fourth string down, then go to your third string down, then to your back to your fourth string down. Five, one, four, five, four, three, four. Okay, one, four, five, four, three, four. And with this, you're using alternate picking, okay, which means that the first string you pick, you can pick down, yeah. The second time you pick up, the third string you pick down, the next time you pick up, the next time you pick down and then up okay so you pick it up down up down up down and it helps to make your string you playing and picking a lot faster okay so that's your strumming pattern so because you, you're on your G chord you pick the top string first okay so it's one four five one four five four three four one four five four three four then you move to your C add nine and then instead of the top string, you pick the second string down. So it's two, four, five, four, three, four. Two, four, five, four, three, four. Okay? Two, four, five, four, three, four. And then your D sus four. So you're picking your third string down, which is your D chord. Three, three, four, five, four, three, four. Sound right, is it? Three, four, five, four, three, four. Okay, three, four, five, four, three, four. Three, four, five, four, three, four. 
this is how it sounds, okay? So you start with your G, then you see add 9, then you do sus4, and it sounds like this. Twice on the G, once on the C add 9, and once on the D, okay? So you do that picking pattern twice on the G, once on the C add 9, and once on the D sus4, like this. Okay? It's going to take a while to get the hang of that, but just practice it slowly, like this to start off with. Okay, just practice it slowly, like that, and eventually. sound like that all right so that's your first part of you of your verse okay the second part of your verse you go same strumming pat picking pattern but then you go to an E minor to a C no sorry E minor to a D to a C to a D and then E minor to a D to a C and back to D, okay? But you're picking, so remember with your E minor, the key, your first note is a second string down, okay? Same strumming pa picking pattern apart from number two is your, your root note. And then go to D, fourth, third string down is your root. And then to your C, regular C, Second string down is your root, and then back to your D. And it sounds like this. Okay, so you do that. How many times? You do that, you do that twice. So you go E minor, D, C, and D. You do that twice, okay? And then the last part of the verse is the bit where it goes, it's something unpredictable, and in the end it's right. And that bit is an E minor. It's something unpredictable. It's something unreal. And then you get to a G, but a, reg a G with only the one finger on the bottom string, okay? So you haven't got, you're not using the two fingers, just use a regular G with one finger on the bottom there, okay? So it sounds a bit like this. It's something unpredictable. Back to E minor. In, in the end, it's back to G, right? So E minor to G, E minor to G, you do that twice, okay, like this. It's something unpredictable, in the end it's right. And then you go to a D, I hope you, no. It's, hang on. it's something unpredictable, in the end it's right. And then back to E minor. I hope you have the D and the G. So E minor, D and G. I hope you have the time of your life. Right. So that's your picking pattern. And then what you can do is, if you want to, go to the next verse. So. You know what? That bit. It's something unpredictable. In the end, it's right. I hope you have a time of your life. I don't know why I said that was the verse. That's that's your chorus. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so your chorus: E minor, G, E minor, G, E minor, D, and G. All right. So I've just taught you the chorus and told you it was the end of the verse. Okay. It's so actually chorus. So then you would go back into your next verse. So you could play it as I've taught you with the first verse, or 
to spice it up a bit you could start strumming okay so you know already that your um, chords for your verse are G C add 9 and D sus 4 okay but instead of doing that picking up taught you you could go into strumming so what I'll do is now I'll finish the end of the chorus and then I'll, I'll go into a strum then to show you how it can sound okay okay then it's something unpredictable in the end it's right I hope you have a time of your life Anyway, there you go. So that's basically how the strumming can sound. And then you could go back, flip back into the picking as well. So you could do a bit of a bit of both there, spice it up a bit. So strumming pattern. I've just written this down. I think this is basically this is what I'm hearing. This is what I'm playing. Um, they might play it a bit differently, and other people might do. But it sounds right to me. It sounds right. So. This, I think this is a, a good pattern. Basically, what you want to do is, and I find when I'm strumming the verse, rather than doing G, C add 9 and D sus 4, I'll just do a regular G, regular C and a regular D. Okay? Sounds, I think it sounds better with those regular chords for the, for when you're strumming. Okay, we'll see what you think. So basically, with your G, you've got your strumming pattern is down, down, up, down, up. Okay? Down, down, up, down, up. Up, up, down, up. Up, down, up. Okay? <laughs> it's quite, I know it's quite complicated. I've written the strumming pattern below. Okay, so down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, down, up. Down, up, down. So it's down, down, up, down, up. Up, up, down, up, up, down, up. It's quite difficult when you're playing it to actually say what the strokes you're doing without messing it up and playing something totally different. So I think you listen to how I'm playing it and just try and um, look at the chords of strokes I've written and try and get the uh, just get in time with me okay so down down up down up down up down up down up down down up down up down down up down up that's it. Down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Okay. Down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. I think I've got it here. I've slowed it down a bit here. Okay. Get ready. Down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Sounds about right. Just get, just get the rhythm. Maybe even don't even play the chord. Just mute your strings. Down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. As long as you've got that that rhythm going and you're not stopping your hand or anything, you could. You can, to be honest, once you've got the the feel for it. You probably make it your own strumming pattern and it'll sound just as good, okay? I was just to be 
honest, I was doing a few different strumming patterns there, and they all pretty much sound like the song. And when you're singing along, you know, you're just going to mix it up yourself a bit anyway. So, but hopefully that teaching session has helped a bit, and um, in a few days' time you'll be playing it yourself and thinking, yeah, I can play some Green Day, man. Anyway, happy strumming.